Today, we're going to be charging an iPod using a small pumpkin and a standard metal clothes hanger. For this project, you're going to need a few simple items. First, you'll need a small pumpkin, such as the ones that are commonly used for decoration during the fall. It's important that you use as small a pumpkin as possible. Next, you'll need a standard metal clothes hanger. Just take one from your closet and set it aside for now. And of course, you'll need your iPod with its USB cable inserted. Once you have all the items gathered, turn the pumpkin upside down and leave it sitting there without disturbing it for at least 15 minutes. This will cause the molecules of the pumpkin to realign slightly with respect to the Earth's magnetic field. While the pumpkin is undergoing its magnetic field realignment, take your metal clothes hanger and bend it slightly as such, bending the ends down and then back up again, and then bending the top down, thereby making a small stand. Next, take your pumpkin and restore it to its upright position, placing it gently and carefully on top of the stand. Next, take the iPod's USB cable and drape it gently over the pumpkin, making sure that it does not come in contact with the metal hanger. The final step is to take the other end of the USB cable and insert it into any USB port on your computer, making sure that the computer is turned on. As you will see, this procedure will result in your iPod immediately beginning to charge. And that's all there is to it. You may ask, well, why not just plug the iPod USB cable into my computer like I usually do without using the pumpkin or the hanger? That would be a very good question. And the answer is that there are many mysteries in science and in the universe that just cannot be explained. Please visit my website 